Welcome, Taurus. Thank you for tuning in to your horoscope for October 17, 2023, on your channel, Zodiac Attraction. Discover what the future holds for you in terms of finances, lucky numbers, love, health, work, family, compatibility, and favorite color. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on daily updates. Get ready to explore your destiny. Let's get started. For the sign of Taurus on today's date, the importance of your sensitivity and the connection with your intuition is highlighted. You are encouraged to trust your instincts and be open to the signals of the universe. Today is a day to pay attention to your feminine and masculine energies. Regardless of your gender, we all have both energies. The feminine energy is related to reception and intuition, so it's essential to connect with it daily. Dedicate time to this in the morning when your mind is clearer and more receptive. Connecting with your internal energies is crucial to release any blocks and traumas that may be preventing you from living the life you desire. Pay attention to your emotions and work on healing any pain in your energy body. In addition, engage in movement exercises for at least 15 minutes a day to keep your energy flowing and avoid feeling heavy or depressed. Even in sedentary jobs, these movements are essential to maintain vitality. Prioritize clarity and reception because you are in a period of expansion and growth. You are on the path to becoming a successful entrepreneur, and the key is in learning and trusting your intuition. Trust your instincts and what inspires you. Your growth and success are closely tied to your ability to learn and your willingness to follow your inner callings. Today, your angels advise you to daydream. Take time to relax and open your mind to signals without directing your thoughts. Observe your feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were a spectator of a movie. The Scorpio moon blows a kiss to Neptune, dearest Taurus, elevating your charms and kicking off the morning with a profound sense of being loved and supported. Check in with your spiritual well-being when Pluto activates, allowing you to find power within when you align with the other side. This cosmic climate could also give you an intuitive edge within matters of the heart, allowing you to better understand loved ones. You'll feel especially committed to your dreams when the moon migrates into Sagittarius this afternoon, prompting you to invest heavily in the ambitions that guide you toward tomorrow. You have had a good exposure to new things in life. Just be prepared to face the challenges coming across your way. Be ready to explain whatever you are being questioned. Your efforts will last for long and will lay a solid foundation for better progress. Do not forget to revitalize and pamper yourself amidst all this. Today's planetary aspects may have you experiencing a little cabin fever. If you have the urge to go off by yourself for a while, do so. Try a new diversion. Drive down a country road you've never explored. Find some antique shops. You probably need a break from your daily routine. You'll feel revitalized. Inflated expectations of others or circumstances can get the best of you if you allow them to today, dear Taurus. Go light if you can. It may be better to view social blunders as simple mistakes and be the one who focuses on the positive today. Still, it can be difficult to concentrate with social or romantic problems on the brain, and it can be challenging to socialize or enjoy yourself if you're neglecting the work you feel the need to do. Pace yourself today, and take things one step at a time for the best results. Avoid taking mental disconnects with others to heart now, as the mind and the heart are unlikely to be on the same page temporarily. The moon's move into your solar eighth house later today turns your attention to deeper matters and might reveal a desire you've ignored or overlooked. In summary, this is a time when you should trust your intuition, release emotional and physical blocks, and be open to opportunities as they arise. Your success depends on your ability to learn and follow your inspirations. Today's tarot reading for your sign. Card 1, The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands represents passionate and desire-filled energy. Today, Taurus, you may feel a strong attraction towards someone or something that demands a lot of your energy and attention. 
This card can also suggest that you are in a situation where you need to maintain balance and not let passions overpower you completely. Card 2, The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles indicates an unstable balance, as if you are trying to keep multiple aspects of your life in harmony, but it might feel challenging. This card relates to duality and the need to make balanced decisions. Today, you might be faced with difficult choices in your relationships or personal matters. Card 3, The Honeymoon Card. This card suggests a moment of intimacy and enjoyment. Despite the tensions and challenges represented by the previous cards, there is an indication that you can find moments of joy and connection with someone special in your life. The Honeymoon Card encourages you to enjoy the small moments of happiness and create meaningful memories. Card 4, The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands indicates struggles and conflicts. You may be dealing with disagreements or competitions in your personal relationships. The energy of this card suggests that you should avoid unnecessary arguments and seek common ground. Card 5, The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles reflects a reserved attitude and a sense of protecting your own resources, whether emotional or material. You may be cautious in your relationships due to past experiences. However, this card also urges you to remember the importance of opening up and trusting. Overall Interpretation Today, Taurus, you face a dichotomy in your relationships. On one hand, there is passionate attraction and a desire for balance in your love life or personal interactions, Queen of Wands and Two of Pentacles. You may feel the need to maintain control and make difficult decisions. However, the Honeymoon card suggests that you can still find moments of intimacy and happiness. On the other hand, the Five of Wands points to potential conflicts and disagreements. It's important to avoid unnecessary arguments and seek peaceful solutions. The Four of Pentacles reminds you that it's crucial to open up emotionally and learn to trust again, despite any reservations. In summary, today is a day of ups and downs in your relationships, where you must balance passion and caution. Try to find moments of joy and connection amid the challenges. Keep communication open and avoid unnecessary confrontations to maintain harmony in your relationships. Now we will tell you how it will go with money and luck, but first remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications, this helps us a lot and so you never miss your daily reading. Money and luck. What could you do with your finances, Taurus? As a money-minded zodiac sign, you can be very good at handling financial matters. So, you may feel more inclined to take a leap of faith with something that could be financially beneficial when the moon enters Sagittarius. However, you may have to work through the logistics of what you want to invest in since the moon will also square Saturn retrograde in Pisces. Given the constraint of the square, you may feel initially stunted. But you have what it takes to invest in a proposed business venture. Now is the time to face any aspects of your finances which have been hiding in the back of your mind, Taurus. The more you focus on these things with a clear and rational mind, the easier it will be to deal with them overall. Trusting yourself is important. Do you trust yourself? Take time to journal your feelings and thoughts and don't hold back from being totally honest with yourself, to help you see the way ahead clearly. Lucky Numbers Your lucky numbers for October 17th are 13, 46, 27, 19, 38, 41 Daily Love the heavens are singing and sparkling for you at all times, Taurus. There are many moving specks of light that you can see from afar. As the beautiful tapestry of the night goes on and on, so do the myths and stories from ancient times. Juno, an asteroid far in our solar system, has turned a corner and suddenly danced into the zodiac sign of Virgo. This is a very long-term transit. While the planets and luminaries are the most prominent immediate factors in our ever-changing sky, the asteroids give us further insight into the nuances of our lives and the trends in which we live. Juno is the asteroid of marriage and will encourage all lovers to embrace more domesticity and fidelity in their lives. 
Do you have an easy time compromising in your romantic partnerships? How much do you allow yourself to bring yourself in relationships and how much do you allow them to do the same? These are relevant questions to think about today the moon is in Scorpio and in your seventh house. A large pillar that determines whether a relationship is healthy or successful is having a strong element of reciprocity and mutuality. This doesn't mean having a tit-for-tat mentality, where you are only doing something because you want or expect something in return. No, it means that both you and your lover are willing to bring yourselves as fully as you can in relation to one another and being present in the true sense of the world. If you feel like that is something lacking in your partnerships, get curious about how you can shift that. At work, you may receive good news relating to your job. It can be a promotion, an increment, a new assignment, a new desired location, change of job or offer from a different firm. Remain available on short call. It can be telephonic or through mail. Show your new employer or colleague about your proactive attitude. Be mentally prepared as the new role will be demanding. Do you feel satisfied within your partnerships at work? Is there an element of mutuality and trust in those connections of yours? These are pertinent questions to reflect on today as the moon is in Scorpio and in your seventh house of business partnerships. If not, why is that and what are the things that you can do differently or change in order to have healthier and more fulfilling relations at your job? Healthy and productive relationships are built on trust, reciprocity and hard work. Make sure that those you're in partnership with are seeking the same things you are, and are willing to show up fully in relation to you and vice versa. Health. You need to maintain a stable frame of mind and think things through sensibly and logically before you jump in with both feet. This is a time of fantasy for you. So, turn your mind towards romance and enjoying yourself. Applying a fantasy to romance will work to your advantage, but results may be very different if you try to be fanciful at your workplace. This transit can help you tap into your intuition and emotional depth. Consider journaling to explore your feelings or doing some deep breathing exercises to release any emotional blockages. Carrying or wearing a black tourmaline crystal can help protect your energy. Family and friends. Those who have been in relationships are about to witness the beginning of a new phase in their private life. You may tie knots with your partner or move in together. This may involve a huge investment as the house needs to be remodeled in either of the two cases. Those who are single may find someone torrid and intimate today. This is a wonderful time to enjoy yourself with someone special, so don't let this five-star day get away from you without taking advantage of it. The intuitive moon is moving through your seventh house of romantic partnerships, and throughout the day she'll form a very harmonious angle to a major luminary in the heavens above. La Luna will be reaching out to Venus in your fifth house of romance and passion, getting you in the mood to pair off with a plus one and show them what tricks you've got up your sleeve, among other things. Compatibility. At work Virgo. In love Aries. In luck Gemini. Your lucky color today. Light red. We love that you get to this part of the video, don't forget to subscribe, like it and leave us your comments, at Zodiac Attraction we always read them and see you tomorrow, have a nice day.